Welcome back to Calypso's Cove, where the magic is our message. It is your mistress of magic, Black Aphrodite, here again with another YouTube video. So for today's video, this is like a little random, but you guys will be making a water with me. I'm really excited because I have these roses here. These are from my new moon solar eclipse ritual. Um, I try to have roses as much as possible or flowers as much as possible. That's kind of like something that I have spiritually going on. It's like dedication to myself as well as other reasons. But I want to use these to the most of my ability. I really love the element of spring. And this year, I have been very connected to indigenous plants, plants that actually grow in my environment and have specific properties. And I notice that in my area, we have a lot of wisteria plants that I think are so mesmerizingly beautiful. And they have such strong protection properties, as well as um, we have dogwood here. And I think dogwood, wisteria, and white roses would make a wonderful home purification, blessing, protection mist to spray around my home. So that is what I am going to make today. And I figured, why don't I do that with you guys? Um, as well, you guys know, I always make my Venusian tea blend and I just got this cup. It is so cool. You can have the herbs inside of this container let the herbs steep so you can put loose herbs and forgive my nails I need to get them done but you can put loose herbs in here and then let the tea steep and uh, look how rich and gorgeous this is um, it's just beautiful so I'm gonna drink this it's so good I made this so good today Okay, hopefully you didn't hear me smacking too much, but ASMR vibes, okay? ASMR vibes. So, first things first, I need to go ahead and get a pot and another bowl to put that in after we're done with the pot, so one second. Okay, so hello, I am back with a few things that I need to make this spray. So today I will be using this spray bottle. It's fairly small, as you can see. So I don't really need that much water, but I think I'm going to have a nice shower with the rest of the water that's gonna be going in this bowl. Um, there's already a little piece of wisteria in there, but as you can see, she's all glittery from how much I love on her. I use this bowl for everything. This is basically like my prep bowl. I have some tequila, some tequila. <laughs> just kidding, but I do have some just to add a drop as a preservative, natural preservative, you know. I imagine this will last for about two weeks, maybe a month, give or take. Um, I have my roses. You can't see this, but I have my dogwood. I know it looks kind of crazy. She's dried. And wisteria petals over here. So it's like dogwood and wisteria petals. Okay. And I'm going to put them in this small pot with some water and I might use a crystal but I think I'm just gonna let the flowers do their magic so I'm gonna do that right quick so one thing I love about where I'm from is spring we have a true springtime and I've always felt so connected to the season of spring when I was younger I used to believe that spring was my favorite season, but I also loved winter time, so I really couldn't make a real decision between the two. But this spring has been so renewing for me, so refreshing, and just the energy and the goddesses and the spirits in, in the land that are around during the spring have just really been so amazing and so wonderful. It's been a really fruitful time. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna take this. I know it's like, 
it's a beautiful rose and I want the most beautiful one I want the most beautiful rose I know some people like to dry their roses before making the water but I find myself getting the most out of the rose when I use them fresh. This is another really beautiful rose and just want to thank them for what they're doing and how they're providing for us. So I think I'm going to use three roses. If you hear some banging, that's my partner. They're putting up, um, what's it called? Some blinds. They're putting up some blinds. Okay. Let me use this last rose. Doesn't want to come out, but it gets stuck with a thorn. Headphone users beware. Let me use this last rose. It's beautiful. drinking water um, to make my spray. I think it's best when you use pure water. If you had access to spring water, anything else, um, you could definitely add that in here. I'm also gonna be adding some water that I collect from my local river. It's literally um, walking distance <laughs> from my house. So I'm gonna pour some in there too, but just a little bit. either but I will be leaving the mist in my window seal during the day um, maybe I'll do it at night but I think solar energy is a little bit better for protection but these flowers are so delicate they really are um, sensitive to sun so I'm gonna have to charge it at the moment. I'm gonna have to charge it in the moment because they're too sensitive for sun. Even though ideally I would put it out for protection. I think protection is like really potent when you use solar energy. Protection work is potent when you do that, but you know, different protection for different things. And I feel like the things that come out at night, this is perfect for protection for. It's gentle, but it's powerful. And you can't really, I guess you can see I'm putting my attention in it, visualization, and just really churning the petals together. Okay. So here we have it. It's really beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go put these on the stove and simmer them on a low heat for maybe 10 minutes. Um, it doesn't need to boil super long. Um, I just don't even need it to boil. Again, sorry for the banging. I don't need it to boil. I need it to simmer. Okay. So I'm going to go do that. And then when that's done, I'll be back. Hi, I know I said that I was gonna wait and show you everything when I was done, but I decided to show you what it looked like in the pot because I did a few other things. So here it is. Um, it's on a low simmer, very low, and it should be warming up soon. I'm sorry for the banging, guys. But yeah, doesn't it just look like spring? 
so earthy and gorgeous. I stirred it more, put more intention in it before I put it on the stove, so yes. Okay, so as you can see, this is starting to get to a boil and they have a ribbon. So I'm gonna turn it down, turn it to low, and then just use the spoon. Sorry, this is a crazy angle, but I'm gonna use the spoon to slowly just seep this in. This is the exact color of water that I'm looking for. So while it's warm, I'm gonna do this and then quickly take the flowers out because I basically don't want the petals to burn because it makes, um, the smell is not as fragrant. This is like a kind of natural floral sweet scent now and I, I don't want that to change. So one second. All right, everybody. So I am back from simmering the herbs, um, the flowers really. Sorry about the banging again. I know that's probably distracting. Lately in my videos, it's always something and it's normally like me touching my hair too much or like a sound issue. So I'm gonna get better with that. I'll get more refined. But right now I'm just trying to like, you know, make content when I feel it from my heart. So bear with me. Anyway, I have a little funnel. As you can see here, I have the flower water nice and hot steeping inside of my bowl that's going to go into the mist bottle. And I have the rest of my flower water inside of here. Don't judge me. I know probably you guys are like, this needs to be in glass. I don't have a glass container available right this second. So it's just going to go in here for now. I'm going to label it and charge it up and then transfer it into a glass container this afternoon when I get home. So first things first, I'm going to open this up. By the way, this is not how I make my mist on my shop. The ways that I make those are very intricate and take a much longer time. Um, this is just something small, personal, easy, easy breezy beautiful magic. Just kidding. Magica. Anyway, I'm adding like a dash of the tequila. Take a dash of my Okay. And now I'm gonna put my funnel. I think I put too much tequila, but I think that's enough. You see that? Oh, that wasn't too much tequila, but you kind of need it. Okay, I'm gonna put my funnel on the inside of there. put a little fragrance oil in here too so I need to say that I did that off camera but I keep my intentional oils that I use to myself so I'm gonna sit this on my other altar and let this just kind of sit and then I'll put it underneath the moonlight tonight um, this is kind of perfect because there's a full moon coming so that's great and yeah this was a very simple protection water and i enjoyed doing this with you guys i can't wait to make like more fun content like this that just shows you more of like the lifestyle portion of my spirituality and not just like divination but i do want to film a reading soon too so i think that's the next thing that's coming and i have some pretty cool ideas for topics so yeah I love you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry again for the banging. And I'm getting better at not touching my hair-ish. <laughs> Until next time. Love you.